welcome back to my channel well welcome back to another vlog so catching you guys up from last night um i was saying goodbye to veronica and ruben because they're moving um didn't fall asleep until like six o'clock totally fine um and i got up at around 11 o'clock today so i only had like five hours of sleep usually this is what happens i will wake up and i'm exhausted i'm like tired i'm physically tired but i can't go to sleep so it's not like i can go back to sleep right now and like have a nice peaceful rest i think i know for a fact around like five I'm probably gonna get like really sleepy that's usually the time I do and then I either skip that sleepy stage and then I stay up all night or I take a nap and then end up staying up all night I think Clementine is still enjoying being in bed I wasn't with her all day yesterday so she's probably just like yeah mom could you stay in like one spot next to me huh Quim huh Quimmy Quimmy you wanna say hi you wanna say hi to everyone she always does this she only comes like i told her to come right here and she wants to stay right here okay wow you're so pretty so beautiful yes you are I love to tell her that she's beautiful and that she's pretty. I'm downstairs. So, as you guys know, I spoke about Clementine's um, issue with not eating all the time or, you know, being very picky and choosy about what she eats. So, I've been kind of trying to figure out, like, what her eating is. So far, what's been working for me is someone commented last time in my video talking about how the vet helped her dog and said that maybe instead of feeding them twice a day it's better to feed them once a day which makes sense because then obviously they're hungry because if you feed them twice a day then they're gonna obvi obviously be more full even though when I feed her twice a day it still is the same amount of once a day it's just cut into two um, but that makes sense. So I am actually feeding her only once a day now, which hopefully helps with her appetite because then she's more hungry to eat. On top of that, I'm always constantly changing her food. So I'm either making homemade food for a week or getting fresh pet one week or getting like a different variety of fresh pet because she only eats the small dog and um, there's this other one that's a little bit more gourmet. The normal one is $5.99 and the gourmet one is $7.99 for a pound and you can get it at Target. I don't know where else you can get it but I get mine at Target. I just order it and then pick it up but I have always been curious about this one brand and it's called the Farmer's Dog. Let me know if you guys feed your dogs the Farmer's Dog. It is in my opinion a very 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 bougie dog food um i've never had it before but i think it's so cute the idea they personalize it put your dog's name on it it's made for your dog obviously you type in like your dog's information and it feels like it's just so personalized i did the whole experience i paid for it I did not get sponsored. This is not sponsored at all. I used my own money and I went ahead and ordered the farmer's dog because I was just so curious as to like why this is even such a big deal. It's obviously one of the more common ones. I have lately seen other dog foods as well that are fresh. I ordered it about a week ago and they were prepping it. It just got delivered so I want to open it with you guys. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I don't know why this is here Ooh, okay they're completely they're completely frozen so super fresh I'm gonna leave one out I'm gonna have to thaw one out actually to give it to her I mean she's not eating right now but dang they're like rock solid so I think I'm gonna and it says that once you thaw it it can sit in the fridge for four days is that what it said? I think that's what it said. Yeah, four days. Once thawed. So I'm going to put a turkey and a chicken 
in the fridge. No, no, no. I am going to stick a turkey in the fridge and then I'm going to thaw the chicken so she can eat this today. It's too early for her to eat right now, so I'm just going to wait it off, but I'm going to let it out and sit. And then I'm going to stick the rest of these in the freezer. I have this random craving to eat rice cake and honey. You know, sometimes you can grill it. Mm, and basakage. Oh. It like doesn't stick on. Mmm. Like that. This is what you want to eat. You want to eat it? It's a long time. When? I bought it when you bought it. I bought it when you bought it. Oh. I bought it when I bought it. getting ready I am heading out to um, run some errands and I'm also filming a mukbang today so I'm gonna get that done I'm just gonna throw on a quick super like dewy I didn't realize until now because I have a few different little sample sizes of the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter I didn't know that they come in colors this one's in medium wait flawless filter wait this is this foundation or primer I thought this was primer am I tripping I'm filming a mukbang today and then I'm actually very excited I'm going to be seeing someone later I have to pick them up I'm very excited to see them um, you guys will see later. I was as shocked as you guys by the time that you see this that I'm even seeing this person again. I had no idea. Came out of nowhere. Please don't be triggered by the way I'm putting on my primer. Honestly, it triggered me. Okay, so I originally was going to keep my hair in this bun, which is actually very cute. It turned out very cute. Um, I've decided officially that I'm not going to be using hair ties to tie up my bun. I'm going to tie up a pony and then pin them up with these pins, which are my favorite type of pins. They have a little bit of texture in them. I don't know if you can see it, like, properly. Hopefully you guys can see the texture. I don't know. But they have some grip to it, so it's not like smooth. Um, and I don't know where I got them, I'm sorry. I don't even know what they're called. I have this weird feeling. Okay, where did I, oh here. I got this weird feeling I might have got them at Daiso. I don't know why I get that feeling, but at the packaging also kind of looks like it's from Daiso. So I'm gonna say that I got it from Daiso because I don't know where else I would have gotten it. Anyways, I put up my hair because my hair's dirty, but then I was just kind of sitting around and I have time. My hair's dirty, but I have powder in it, so it doesn't look dirty, but it is moving like it's dirty. My hair never does this. But then I was sitting and I was like, you know what, I have time, so I'm actually going to do my hair. I'm gonna put in some dry shampoo and I'm gonna crimp a little pieces so I have texture and then I'm gonna put some braids in it, like little tiny braids. I'll come back and show Okay, what do we think? Crimped a little bit. I have a braid here, so it's like hiding in there. And then I have a small braid in the front, like kind of like right in the front, you know? And then because this is a smaller braid, so then I put a bigger braid down here. My hair is black and I'm wearing black so you like can't see anything except for black. But it's cute, I like it. I actually, I actually really like it. Oh, there you go, you can kind of see it laying in there. Ooh, they're building a bridge, a really, 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 really high bridge. Arriving. Sir, 
if you block someone because your selfishness doesn't fit and then just scoot up to people who drive at LAX are stupid pure stupidity is what it is like I have no words I don't even think she's out Okay, hold on a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna straighten myself out because I am not straight right now. And I don't wanna be in anybody's way. What is premium parking? What does that even mean? I'm here. Thank you. Okay, actually, no, I'm gonna park around here because there's an elevator here. Perfect, there's parking right here. I'm right here. Oh my God, it's a miracle. Okay, who the fuck parks like that? Oh my God. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. That's literally what you go through when you go to LAX and all of that, okay? <sighs> Look who I found! Hello. This is the person that I was looking for at LAX. <laughs> the many, many rounds. I actually did oh rounds God. and rounds. Oh my God. I we was were like, like sitting at the uh, the parking area for a long time. The, I know. The plane because some other plane had the, was stuck in our gate. I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. Parking sometimes is way easier to deal with. Where is the exit? I don't know. We just, we, <laughs> just now we've been going around the I know. following the signs for an exit and literally I haven't seen any exit. Wait, I'm so confused. Well, it's totally Didn't it say left? Ex exit left turn only. And I was just bragging about how well I drive LAX. Oh no, I think this is the exit. Oh, okay. Right? This is the scariest looking exit. It looks like the it looks wrong like you're gonna exit. die. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, my cousin is here. I'll go into details later, but for now, we're just gonna try to get out of LAX. Bye. <laughs>
for you tonight. Thank you. Yes, of course, I can take your number as well. Thank you. Yeah. Same. I just like really like um, savory food. Mm -hmm. I can't like let it go. Like I knew I would be upset if I didn't just have this, and I didn't know how bad, big the hash brown was gonna be. Good size. Mm. Mm -hmm. is because my cousin is here, as you guys know. She's here on a work trip and she's staying in this hotel. And to maximize her time together, even though she's out working right now, I thought I would spend a day with her. So I just got here. Um, I dropped her off yesterday and she is at work all day today and all day tomorrow, but I thought, you know what, why not? I never come to LA, like literally never come to LA. I usually avoid it, I don't love it. Um, coming from Orange County where it's just calmer, um, that's where I belong. She is staying at the Tommy Hollywood Hotel. I think it's like a sister hotel to the Hyatt. The Hyatt or the Hilton? I don't know, but one of those. Um, it's really cute. I'll show you around. Even though it's not my room, let me just give you a sneak peek. So when you walk in, when you walk in, because this is a door. When you walk in, this is the bathroom. Cute, cute bathroom. Cute bathroom, very cute. Like this is very cute. Like sliding door and all, very cute. Hardware is gold, cute, hi. Then we have a full body mirror. And then we got some hangers. And then we've got the bed. It's a king size bed, so we should fit just fine. It's gonna be like my place. Um, and then there's light fixtures. Okay, you guys. <laughs> my cousin is coming back right now. Right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna surprise her. This is how I would surprise my man if I was surprising him at a business trip in a hotel. And then that's how you get heartbroken when you find him with another woman. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hello? Hey! Hello? This is, this is how I said I was gonna greet my uh, boyfriend if I visited him. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be back. I have to pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.